Guys, I just I, I just can't contain the hype for this game. Hi, welcome back to a, I guess, Honkai Star Rail video. My name is Lace, and today let's talk about Honkai Star Rail a little bit, like what's coming up, what do we know? But I guess in general, this is just a real hype video because like me personally, whilst I haven't played through Honkai completely, I'm a pretty big fan. And I know that this game is going to attract a lot of Genshin players and or like even Genshin haters. But I think what we can all agree on with Mihoyo or like Genshin, I guess is that Mihoyo are capable of making really good games. I'm talking like from the game development side, from like the hack and slash to the open world to all of like the elemental reactions and interactions. I'm not talking about the monetization. I'm not talking about like how they're handling things, like the management of it. But if you ask me, I would say that they really know how to make their anime games. And so with that being said, welcome to Honkai Star Rail, which is a new turn-based RPG. I know it's just a picture of a train right now, but like, trust me, this, this looks really freaking good. I think when we go through a couple of the different screenshots and stuff, you'll realize that a lot of the art, a lot of like the models, they are very reminiscent of like the Genshin ones as well. But before we go anywhere else, I want to say that this bad boy is open for closed beta sign up. So if you just head over to honkaistarrail.com slash en, you will see this bad boy over here. Enter sign up, click this guy, and then it's going to get you to log into your Mihoyo account. And then you're going to be like having to fill out a survey. After you fill out the survey or the questionnaire, you will be entered into the log Lottery. Yes, it is another lottery system to join the closed beta. And so that's the first thing. If you guys have not gotten onto it, go and join this bad boy. Because if nothing else, you will get some decent gameplay. You'll get some great visuals. You'll get some awesome music. And you're most certainly going to get a whole bunch of sweet, sweet waifus as well as husband dolls. Look at this, my guys. There are some really good looking lads, my dudes. Like, look at that. Look at that. And uh, I guess that's kind of it. But there are a few other images floating around. And it does feature a lot more characters than this. So... I go have a look for him. So why exactly am I so hyped for this one? Well, there are a couple of reasons. And the first is that it's going to be an international release. So you see this toggle over here. We have EN dubs. And so for you guys who are into the English dub, there is that option there. But like what it's kind of signifying is that we're going to be getting a simultaneous release. And honestly, that's freaking fantastic. I think the way that Genshin has been handled from like a patch point of view has been great. I love being able to like play on the Asia server and like everyone's getting the same patch patches, we can all talk about the same kind of stuff. And so I believe at this point, Honkai Star Rail is going to follow the same model. It is not confirmed. That is pure speculation. Please do not take that as gospel. But I think it is quite an educated guess, especially because they are opening CBT for the EN global players. All right. And so the next thing I want to show you guys is kind of like what the gameplay looks like. And so I don't know if there's actually any like real footage of it. But if I come over here to this screenshot, this is essentially what the UI or rather the battle UI will look. You've got your party. You clearly have a few skills over here for each of them. You got buffs down here and then you are facing off the enemy on the other side. And then on top of that, it looks like we have turn priority on the left hand side over here. This is very turn based and yeah, like of course it's turn based, right? But like, I don't think you can expect any action from this at all. And so with that, I do want to show you guys this guy over here, which is the reveal trailer. I am not going to go through it. I think this is a fantastic trailer. It's got so much going for it. It's got so much hype. I'm going to mute that because I'm going to get DMCA'd. But guys, do check this out because like you do see a couple of these kinds of scenarios like these cutscenes it's all 3d it looks great and i think you actually do get to walk around and stuff so i believe there's a little bit of footage over here maybe yeah look at that look at that and so just looking at this footage you can see like all of these textures and stuff a lot of it is really reminiscent of like the genshin assets and so for me personally i think that they're using a lot of the genshin assets or like even some of like the old honkai ones and using all of that to expedite the process of developing this game i would say that the genshin assets are probably a little bit more modern than like the Honkai ones like uh if you have a look at like some of these like the bow stances or like some of the stances with the spears and swords I think you'll realize quickly that they are almost identical to the ones that are in Genshin but on top of that like look at the art style of this it's it's so reminiscent of like the Genshin art styles and the assets. And so this is really good news to me because it's going to speed up the development time. And so I can get my hands on this game even faster. And so if you're out there watching me, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, hit a boy up and let's get into it. You know, all jokes aside, this is a Honkai game. I believe it is based on like the Honkai universe. Like I said before, I have played some Honkai impact. However, I have not gotten through most of it. And really for the last few days, I have been inhaling Honkai content, like the manga, the manhwa, a whole bunch of other stuff. And whilst I do see a few familiar faces, I see a lot of new faces as well. Look at these. 
Just look at these gorgeous designs. Like they're just, oh my God, it's so, so mint. And so for you existing Honkai players or maybe like the more casual Honkai players, you'll be like, well, is this Honkai Impact 4? And my answer to that as far as I know is no. Honkai Star Rail is an offshoot or kind of like not really a side game, but kind of more like a side story thing, which isn't directly hanging off of Honkai Impact 3. Yes, I do think that there are going to be a lot of like recurring characters or like recurring themes and stuff like that. But as for like being the successor of Honkai Impact 3, Three, I'm gonna say no. And for you existing players of Honkai Impact 3, I do believe there is still like two or three more years before like the game stops getting updates to its story. And so that's probably when we're gonna expect to see Honkai Impact 4. However, in the meantime, we have this bad boy over here. Like look at look at all of these assets. It really looks like Honkai, but in Genshin assets. Like in another world, that could have been a female deal look. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But yeah, that really is it for all of this. Like again, I encourage you guys to go watch this reveal trailer. It's so incredible incredibly freaking hype. And so again, if you guys are interested, head on over to the Honkai site, enter the sign up and pray, big pray, always big pray that you get in to the closed beta, the first closed beta. Honestly, I think the hype for this game is already pretty unreal. Like if we have a look at this 48.5K on the Twitter alone, and I'm pretty sure they only started advertising this Twitter like very, very recently, like uh, that's three days ago. <laughs> but yeah, if there is anywhere to get like all of your Honkai Star Rail news, it is probably going to be the Twitter because because it's actually the first place that I found this date. This sentence saying the first closed beta sign up is starting on October 8th. This was on Twitter first before it was on anywhere else. And so yeah, I think that's kind of it. I don't know if there is too much left to be said. I think there is an event over here where you can drop your Mihoyo ID for a chance to win the first closed beta eligibility. But otherwise, the only other thing we know is that this guy's name is Pom Pom. And similar to how we're referred to as captains or the traveler in like the Genshin and Honkai games, in this one, it looks like we will be trailblazers. And so yeah, I'll see you in space, guys. But yeah, that's essentially it, guys. Like, oh my god, I cannot wait for this. Holy moly. Turn-based RPGs, I'm a massive fan of them because like, I don't always want to be like like really on ADHD and be like, I got a dodge, bro. And so yeah, okay, I'm just going to contain my excitement and uh, I'm going to stop the video right here. Secret question to you guys, and that is, are you guys hyped for Honkai Star Rail? Do you guys even know what Honkai is? Are you guys even Honkai fans? And please don't gatekeep like the Genshin or like the Honkai or like the whatever players. We know that a lot of the Genshin players got like pretty bad publicity for like all that review bomb and stuff but just remember that there are millions and millions of Genshin players and it was probably only like a couple of thousand that did that to really spread the bad reputation anyway all of that aside let me know how you guys feel about this down in the comments below and it would really mean a lot to me because it means you've watched up until the end of the video and so thank you guys so much but otherwise please consider a like a sub a follow a comment you already know what it is and if you would like to support the channel we have a membership thing as well as some affiliate links in the description but otherwise my guys as pom pom once said first of all hello travel places but second of all he also told me that all good things must come to an end and so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye